All Christians believe that God is eternally one and also eternally the Father, the Son and the Spirit, the three being distinct but not separate. Yet for many Christians, the subject of the Divine Trinity may seem to be an abstract doctrine. But have you ever realized that the mystery of the Divine Trinity is clearly revealed in Luke chapter 15? In this chapter, we see that the Lord Jesus spoke three parables. The parable of the Good Shepherd finding the lost sheep. Um, the parable of the woman seeking out the lost coin. And the parable of the loving father receiving back his prodigal son. In my many times of reading this passage in the Bible, I've always considered these as three separate parables. But actually, these three parables depict the marvellous work of the Divine Trinity and is bringing sinners back through the Son, by the Spirit, and unto the Father. Let's look at this again. Firstly, the Son comes as the Good Shepherd to find us the lost sheep by accomplishing redemption for us. And then the Spirit comes as the woman to seek us out by entering into our hearts, to enlighten us, to search in us, to sweep away all the dirt in order to find us and gain us. And this causes us to repent and to come back to the Father who is just waiting to receive us. Isn't this amazing? I mean, haven't we all experienced the love and work of the Divine Trinity? Not only at our initial salvation, but even in our daily experience, He continues to search in us, to enlighten us, and to bring us more and more back to Himself. No longer should the Divine Trinity be a mere doctrine to us. The Divine Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit is for us to experience and to enjoy.